Come here, you old whippersnappers. Let me tell you a story about how Plex used to be in the old dark ages. Back then, we couldn't tone map HDR to SDR. If we did, if we did, we would lose all the color. It would just be gray, like my hair. But now, everything is different. Everything has changed. I kind of have mixed emotions right now. Part of me loves this. Part of me hates this. And part of me is going to tell you why. This video is, as always, sponsored by Plex because I have a monthly sponsorship through Plex. So thank you very much, Plex, for sponsoring my channel. What's up, YouTube? Jason here with By My Bat. <laughs> Gonna need another drink of Red Bull before I do this. Jason here with By My Bits, and in today's video, I wanna talk about a long awaited, finally has come feature to Plex Media Server. Yes, that's right. HDR to SDR tone mapping. Holy bananas, this is taking a long time. And again, Mixed emotions, because part of me, like 100% says, you should never transcode 4K. That's right, I said it, just don't. It's bad, it's terrible. It takes a ton of resources and, well, that's it. I mean, you might as well just get a 1080p or at bare minimum, pre-optimize your video. But that is what kind of brings me into this excitement part because now it takes that optimization, that Plex feature that you can use to optimize your videos to be played back, you know, from a 1080p source versus a 4K source a lot easier. In the past, I've stood behind what I said, okay? Do not transcode 4K. It takes, you know, four to five times the horsepower. It's just gonna be a sluggish experience. You're gonna overbuild your server just so you could transcode some 4K. Actually, it's a better idea just to, you know, have a separate library or just disable transcoding altogether. But Plex is all about the transcoding and that's what I love to test in my videos. Up until now, Plex has been unable to take an HDR movie, which is usually a 4K movie, and transcode it to an SDR movie. Basically, the tone mapping would be removed and everything would be washed out. It would just be a grayed out video. I'm showing you some examples on screen, but just bear in mind, I'm gonna be zooming up a little bit because, you know, this is a big blockbuster movie with big stars in it and I don't I want big movie companies to come after me. To enable this brand new feature, just go into the settings for your server and in the transcoder settings, you can see the options for HDR to SDR transcoding. If you don't see this feature, then you will need to update your server. Other media servers have been able to overcome this before. I'm not gonna mention any names, but there has been some success in markets already for this feature, but Plex finally has it. And now you can transcode the 4K as much as you want, but you really shouldn't, hear me out. So the alternative to transcoding 4K obviously was just having a 1080p file that was encoded and just a lower resolution and not having an HDR encode. And that way, if you ever did have to transcode it, it wouldn't get washed out on you. But now you have the ability to have one library to own all of the 4K HDR videos that you could possibly desire. And if you really want to, you can transcode them but what I would recommend is using the Plex Optimize feature. That's right, if you go into Plex, you can optimize your videos automatically to where they're 10 megabits per second, eight megabits per second, two megabits per second, whatever you think will be the most useful for your server. Now this new feature is not 100% just yet. For example, in my environment, I have Unraid. I try to run it with hardware accelerated transcoding and it did not work. It crashed. And that really is dependent on Docker and the NVIDIA drivers. And I updated my Unraid to a newer version and it's like crashing the Unraid plugin uh, for NVIDIA drivers. So I got to wait to uh, for another update. This is why I don't like to update things because you break stuff. But across the board, Plex Media servers can use CPU or software transcoding to transcode HDR to SDR. It's when you get into the hardware acceleration like Intel QuickSync or an NVIDIA GPU that you start to kind of have a hit or miss. I'll put a link in the description down below so you know exactly what I'm talking about. But at the end of the day, if you are having issues playing something and it's saying playback failed, try disabling the hardware acceleration. So that's it. HDR to SDR tone mapping is 
now a thing. Just keep in mind that as it is right now, HDR to SDR tone mapping is a Plex Pass feature, which starting today, Plex is actually running a sale for 25% off a lifetime subscription that expires on November 27th. If you follow the links in the description down below to the Plex Pass lifetime subscription and you enter in the code uh, survive the season, don't worry, I'll put it in the video right about somewhere. You put in that code and you get it for $89.99 versus $119.99. So 25% off. With Plex Pass, not only do you get HDR to SDR tone mapping, but you get like a plethora of other features. Again, you'll see that when you click the link, but it's just they're running a sell right now. And I wanted you guys to know. So that's it for today, guys. Enjoy your HDR to SER transcoding. Please use Plex Optimize. Don't transcode 4K all the time. I still don't think that's a good idea. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe below and have yourself a great day. Come here, you old whippersnappers. Let me tell you a story. Oh, that's like old timers or something. Hey. You old whippersnappers, I want to tell you a story. I want to... No, it's Godfather. Hey, come on, you old whippersnappers, you. I want to tell you a story. No? Come on in, you old whippersnappers, you. I want to, I want to tell you a story about how it was in the Old West. See, back then, Plex didn't have HDR to SDR tone map. No, those were the dark ages for us. See, anytime we wanted to watch a 4K video file but couldn't support it on our client, we had to watch it all grayed out. It was dark times for us, mainly because we sat around a campfire and pretended to watch TV because we couldn't afford Plex or TV. And it was 80 years ago, Plex wasn't a thing. I have no idea where I'm going with this. What the f is wrong with me?